Welcome to our channel my dear students. Today we are going to talk about the cross aldal condensation reaction mechanism in which aldal condensation will be involving in presence of a dilute sodium hydroxide. So here are two same aldehydes or ketones will able to react to form uh, condensed to form a product aldol product. Likewise, uh, here a cross aldol in the sense either two different aldehydes or two different ketones. The very important condition is both must have alpha hydrogen. Both the different aldehydes or both the different ketones involving in the reaction must have alpha hydrogen. That time only the cross aldol condensation reaction may take place. Okay, so let's see the mechanism. Here, the first thing is. I'll be taking an example like this. Say for example, CH3C double band OH. This is a one aldehyde. And another aldehyde, I'll be taking this as, suppose if I'm taking these two aldehydes, that is a CH3, CH2, C double band OH. I'll be taking ethanol and propanol. So I'll be taking two different aldehydes. Both should have alpha hydrogen. So here, uh, this is a functional group. So I'm having this is a alpha hydrogen. This is alpha carbon by the way it has alpha hydrogen. And this is also this is a functional group will having alpha carbon. That alpha carbon having alpha hydrogen. Are you able to understand students? It's very important thing. Both the reactant should have alpha hydrogen. That time only I will be getting from the cross aldal condensation product. Let's see the mechanism. Let's get into the topic. Here, aldehyde. If I'm taking CH3, C double band OH. Okay. If suppose this molecule will react with a base in presence of a base, that is the OH minus. The OH minus will come and attack this carbon. Whether it is attacks a carbon? No. Actually, it attacks these carbon. Why this is not happening? Happening? Why this attack will not be happening? In this case, this will not be acting as a nucleophile. This will be acting as a base. <coughs> in generally, in organic chemistry, base always attacks hydrogen but nucleophile always attacks carbon but here the OH- minus will be acting as a base this OH- minus will be able to attack this alpha carbon containing hydrogen so this hydrogen will be picked by this so if suppose i'll be getting that hydrogen is picked by the way i got this thing that is c double band o h is there okay are you able to understand students so here I will be getting formed a nucleophile. <coughs> Are you able to understand? So here one of the nucleophiles is formed. That is CH2. C double band O. H is there. In that I will be having negative charge. This nucleophile may attack with both the things. What are all the things? Second molecule. That second molecule may be a this molecule. Or it may be a this molecule. Okay. So either it can react with this, this one or it can react with this one. Suppose if it react with first molecule, that time I will be getting CH3, C double band O, H. Okay. Either it can attack this molecule or it can attack this molecule. What is that? CH3, CH2, C double band O, H. Okay. Either these will attack this carbon or this will attack this carbon okay so if these and these two are react i will be getting the product number one if these two react i will be getting a product number two okay by the way same thing if suppose the first molecule will undergo this kind of reaction if say for example what kind of reaction is this say for example ch3 ch2 c double band oh this will be going attacked with a base that time it always attacks alpha carbon by that way i'll be getting ch3 ch minus here c double band oh is there okay so here i got nucleophile now this nucleophile which one is this nucleophile ch3 ch minus 
C double band O H. This nucleophile may attack two different product, two different reactant. First reactant C H three C double band O H. Or otherwise it can attack C H three C H two C double band O H. Likewise in the same case either can attack the first reactant or either first reactant or second reactant. Here also the first reactant second reactant. Okay. these nucleophile may come and attack this thing or it can come and attack this thing if it attack these two react i'll be getting a product number 3 if these two react i'll be getting a product number 4 okay let's see the mechanism of the first one first one will uh first one there is a ch2 so here i'll be getting if this nucleophile attack this reagent so that time i'll be getting a one alder product so i'll be getting ch2 minus c double band o h is there that is going to attack ch3 c double band o h what i'll be getting a product here this will be attacking always the carbon because this will be acting as a nucleophile this nucleophile will able to product like so this will be shifting like this so i'll be writing the product ch3 c o minus here one h is there and coming incoming product that is ch2 that is ch2 c double band o h okay if i acidify this if i acidify this i will be getting a product alcohol that is ch3 ch here it is o h here it is ch2 c double band o h okay that is what i will be getting a first product so what about the second reaction the second reaction is also very important so this nucleophile will come and attack this one that time i'll be getting a second product how we can get let's see the mechanism also so let's see the second reaction that is that uh, our nucleophile is ch2 minus c double band oh that is going to attack ch3 ch2 c double band oh okay now this will be going and attacking this thing okay now this will be going attacking this thing are able to understand ch2 uh, minus that i'll be writing the this thing this will be going to react with the second product so i'll be getting this product so whenever this will be reacting so i'll be getting a product like this that is uh, i'll be writing this one ch3 ch2 if it attacks co minus 1 h is there along with that so this will be reacting with this that is ch2 c double band o h if i acidify it i will be getting if i add h plus ch3 ch2 ch here it is o h here it is ch2 ch o okay are able to understand students this is very very simple one and the third reaction how i can get the third product third product is nothing but uh, here i'll be getting a reagent like this reagent is what that is ch3 ch minus c double band o h okay this is what i am taking this will be going to react with our uh, first molecule that the first molecule is what that is ch3 c double band o h now i'll be taking the reaction into forward reaction that is uh, this will be reacting with this and this is going to attack this so i'll be getting a product so what kind of product i'll be getting that is uh, i'm going to write this that is ch3 c initially o minus it will goes as like this here also i have h and this coming molecule that is ch in the left side i have ch3 is there and right side ch o is there if it is acidified i'll be getting a product so what kind of product i'll be getting so if it is acidified i'll be getting ch3 ch here it is oh <coughs> here it is oh and one more thing ch here it is uh, ch3 here ch o that is what i'll be getting a product this is a cross aldal product if suppose the fourth reaction fourth reaction what is that these and these two react to form fourth product what is the fourth product this is the third one that will be a fourth one fourth one is nothing but ch3 ch minus c double band o h that is going to react with our the same reactant ch3 c h2 c double band o h is there okay 
So what kind of product? So this is going to react with this. This CH minus will come and attack this carbon. By the way, I'll be getting a product that is a CH3, CH2, CO minus. Okay. Along with that, one hydrogen is there. So then I'll be writing this CH. CH. Left side I have CH3 group. So I have to write CH3 group. Right side I have CHO group. CHO I'll be writing. Okay. So if it is react with the H plus, I'll be getting a product that is CH3, CH2, C, here it is H, here it is OH, here it is CH, one more CH3 is there and CHO is there. Okay, so this is what I'll be getting a cross aldol product. So here the product number one, this is the product number one. So this is the product number one I'll be getting and product number two. So the reactant, the nucleophile is there and will be attacking another molecule. That time I will be getting a product number 2. So product number 3. So here based on that attack of nucleophile, the nucleophile is formed because of that. So here the nucleophile is formed only because of that attacking of OH- towards to that alpha hydrogen. That alpha hydrogen will form, alpha hydrogen will be eliminated by OH- that is base which will be eliminating as water molecule. By the way, I will be getting third product. This is the third aldol cross product, cross aldol product and this will be a fourth product. I think so you understand well about this mechanism. Thank you so much for watching. Please go forward to others to get benefit. Don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you once again. Thank you for learning. Share and like this video.